36,000. Oh, I think that's good. <laughs> Is that right? I think we're a little heavy, but that'll work. What is up guys welcome back i just got back home and about 500 miles from my dealer trailer store out in winnemucca go pick up my new dump trailer i'm gonna go haul a load of uh, gravel with this thing right now it'll be the first load you see she's brand spanking new we gotta adjust a couple things on this old girl i'm not gonna take 3500 because well sat in that thing too much the other day i want to go back and run grab a stick sheet so we're gonna do that we gotta adjust the coupler though because it is too low for this truck and um it's definitely gonna be too low for the next one so let's go swap her out i ain't playing around with no hand crankers no more once you buy one trailer that's got these you'll always buy them Right, guys i would like you to go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel aiming to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year or even more if we can so analytics are saying quite a few guys are not subscribed they're watching my videos so let's up those numbers enjoy the video i'll do a full walk around video on this at some point but right now we just got stuff to do so i'm headed down to the valley get a load of mix so we can make some concrete slabs um we got some stuff projects around my house uncle's house dad's house I'll give you a couple little rundown details on the trailer. 18 foot dump unit. It's got the scissor lift. I opted out of the telescoping boom because I felt like it would get in my way and it makes your trailer just a touch longer. Didn't really want that, but it is rated 25,000 pounds with super singles. And she's quite a trailer. Uh, the paperwork shows that it weighs 8,000 pounds, which is more than my big uh, flatbed gooseneck from Diamond Sea. So when we get down here, we'll scale it. Um, I'm around 15,000 pounds with my little dump trailer, 15, 15 and a half, something like that. I'll actually pull the paperwork and put it on the screen for you guys to see what my tear weight normally is, but we'll see what this sucker weighs. But for capacity gained, payload gained, yeah, you're going to have to gain a little bit of uh, weight to start off with. What you guys guess, I'm gonna say 18,000 pounds if the sticker on the diamond C is correct. There's 11, 13, 18, 3. Yeah, that sucker does weigh about 18,000 or 8,000 pounds. Forgot where the con mix was. Glad it was an obvious one. Right there. Told him 15,000 pounds. 
a little bit lighter than what I can take, but we'll try her out. We gotta get the first load on there. Tires ain't squatting yet. We'll try that. We'll try that. Big? Judging by how those tires normally squat with the 12 on it is what I'm kind of going with here. 12 weighs 16,000. And uh, it feels like a little load. Tires look like they're doing fine. So let's do the math here parking brake beeping at me so if we got 16,000 pounds on there we should go up here and this thing should say 34,000 right let's see how close he was he's chasing me down let's see what he says Thirty-six thousand. Oh, I think that's good. <laughs> Is that right? I think we're a little heavy, but that'll work. Heavy? Yeah. It's yeah. It's a brand new trailer. We got to try it out. Gotcha. It's, got yeah. Awesome. What is it? V belt and son. Travis, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's open for about thirty-four thousand, so we're at thirty-six. It's a little heavy. Is that yeah. Right? Thank you. <laughs> Well, I didn't want to go full fledge, but we're going full fledge. This weight that I got in it, I'm comfortable with this trailer hauling it in it. I mean, obviously I've never hauled it before, but for the ratings that the trailer has, I'm not too worried. But I wanted to try a couple rounds with the lighter weight to see how the, you know, the dump unit behaves, how it likes dumping it and stuff like that. So we'll see. But as it sits, 36,000 pounds gross with me sitting in it and uh, just about nine tons. So 18,000 pounds worth of payload in this trailer. That is almost like the 080, which is pretty impressive. Uh, I guess if you're gonna test her out the first run, test her out. The tires are actually slightly squatted, so the truck is actually holding quite a bit if I'm gonna put some air in the bags. Kinda bummed that that thing's leaking. I'm gonna have to get a different coupler. There's a little coupler between the gauge and the hose one of those quick connectors and it's I've had that brand leak before so that's what's going on right now but it feels good I like it the gooseneck over the bumper pull for the dump unit especially and since I said with these axles being scooted back so you get more load on the truck it feels so much more stable so we got a couple big hills to go up uh, we'll see how the old truck does and we'll see how the new dump dump unit dumps man that's, that's a heavy load our EGTs and everything are saying somewhere along the lines of this thing weighs as much as towing the big trailer with the 080 on it going up this hill. Still kept it in fifth gear, which is nice, but I, I touched 1300 several times there on the old exhaust gas temp. Even the Penske truck passed me. 48, 49 mile an hour at the top. That's not too bad for 36,000 pound gross. But normally with the 080, I'll have to drop down to fourth. And yeah, that really is like right around um, 40,000 pound gross, so it, it'll be a touch heavier than this setup. She did good. That's our last big hill coming up. You know, I don't think I'll be hauling 18,000 pounds worth of sand in this thing on a regular basis, but 16, I'm, I'm okay with. But if the test goes good, we know we can go 18 on it. We're rated for it. But you just like to work within an area that you know your trailer's comfortable with, you're comfortable with the hardware, and it's honestly a freaking smooth. Like, this feels no problem. I need to adjust the trailer brakes a little bit though, as in they are self-adjusting, so that just takes a little bit of time, unless you wanna get underneath the screwdriver, but, so you gotta be careful towing this kind of weight without your brakes being cranked way up like you might want if you had to stop in a hurry. Right, I've been cruising for a little bit now. Want to give you an update on how the uh, hubs are doing temperature wise. They're freaking colder than the blacktop. I'm actually very, very surprised on that. We've been cruising at uh, 
oh, 50, 55, something like that. Pups aren't even warm one freaking bit. So look how 5,500 handles that weight. 2008 truck. Been doing this for the last five years I've had it. No idea what I was doing before that. It was a grandpa truck. <laughs> Still looks like a grandpa truck, except for underneath the hood makes a little bit more sauce. A little load of sand. It's crazy how much that stuff will just escalate and wait. spot oh yeah look at that this is a slightly good sized trailer what do you think 18 that's what you wanted 18 foot on the inside hoss got you what you wanted it uh how's this go here eight thousand pounds is what it says on the sticker and weighing it down there with the truck trucks 10 so well, I was 18,000 so it was pretty close and I I texted Jacob and told him how much I had in it and he's like hey he's like got you beat though they overloaded him 22,500 pounds in his but he's like I didn't say it dumped it though it's another 4,500 4,500 and he it looked like he was towing it with like a 3,500 Alrighty guys, full disclosure, this trailer arrived at my dealer in Winnemucca on a Friday evening. I was there the following Saturday, first thing to pick it up. Helped my dealer David get the trailer set up so I could take it home, put tires, wheels, go through a couple other things, make sure she's all sound. One thing we overlooked, which can happen, was did not tighten down the battery terminals. Small little error on our part. We didn't discover it till the next load, but we're going to go through a little bit of learning curve right here. For one, didn't have good contact with the battery terminals. Two, there's a pretty good amount of tongue weight with this load. Get it. Full lifted. <laughs> well, go get the Kubota. That's how stuff like this happens and you got to try her out. But I think it would dump this if it would have been more towards the back. But it literally is all up towards the front, which is nice for towing it. But, yeah, you know, towing it with a 5500, shall I say. If it would have been dumped more back over the axles, you'll see once we get it up, we're going to just scrape a little bit out with the tractor. It's starting to move it, but less strain on it. We'll just go and scrape some out. But if it would spend back here, the center of it, 18 inches to 2 feet, it would have helped out a ton. But that's exactly why I just wanted to try it with uh, 14,000 pounds or 16,000 pounds, about 18. I want to see how it would do dumping it with those lighter loads and I would know if I could do this but I guess this wasn't beating around the bush we just found out straight up check this out watch this dad's dog yumma 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 come on dear boy I haven't seen you in a minute little one yeah hi yumma hi yumma oh, good girl come on come on back up so for the sake of science wanted to test this thing keep the 18,000 pounds in the dump box just shift the weight towards the back of it and see how it behaves. So like I said, this is a long trailer. There's a lot of leverage if you put all the weight towards the front of it and achieve maximum tongue weight, which is pretty much what we're doing right here. So if we got the weight more towards the back, we'll see if it'll actually dump this 18,000 pounds rather than scoop some out and not know if it'll dump it. Oh, there. I just needed to break that little spot. Just like Jacob saying, put a six by down there. We got a goat down there. 
it takes a little while to dump this because it's got such a stroke yeah. but it's a big dogger the tail lights and stuff were because on the other trailer they were all in a terrible spot oh these are actually recessed and they got the rubber so if they do get pushed on something they just pop back hopefully Okay, so I don't know what happened to the footage for the second load that I did with this, but it was another load con mix with 17,000 pounds, so pretty much in the same ballpark as this load. Uh, had them dump it towards the back of the trailer slightly, not too much, but like I said, about 18 inches to two feet, somewhere in there, and started dumping the second load, and we noticed the battery terminal was smoking a little bit because it was sparking, because it wasn't actually tight. Tighten that thing down, and it still it dumped it without a problem. It's just a big cylinder, takes a little bit of uh, volume to fill it and make the dump action happen. So it's a little bit slow going, but it still dumped it. So 17,000, 18,000 pounds positioned correctly on this trailer, it dumped it. So we're gonna go back to the house and try putting the run it with a pickup. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to load the 12 on there. Main thing is if it's gonna fit. This is a uh, you know, one of the plans I had with the trailer, it does have these stabilizer jacks to come down. I want to make sure that those are the same spot. Yeah, something like that. But then you got the hideaway. It's going to be kind of a longer video, but I'm having fun. These things are actually pretty minimal. Compared to, there's no way I could put it in this trailer. And that's a 14K trailer. I put, heaviest I ever did on that one was... 14,000. Uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. All 10 to 12 on a regular basis. But the biggest thing that I have with the new trailer, because if you go up in sizes of dump trailers, the trailers themselves become so heavy that you're actually losing payload because the trailer is so heavy to you know fit the volume. So that kind of sucks. But with that trailer and or bigger trailers, I gain the option of being able to haul bigger equipment in it because it's wider and it can handle it so we'll see if the 12 fits in there Damn, that is tight. <laughs> oh, I actually could haul this. I don't know. I'll need this machine where I dump that gravel today because we'll have a mixer attachment there and I'll be mixing cement with this machine. So I could haul it up there. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it behind. I don't know. It don't really matter. That's so awesome. Oh, freaking love it. I knew it would fit, but at the same time, you're like, well, you know, adding steel, the thickness, you never know. Sucker fits in there beautiful. Check out Diamond C for your quality trailers. And check out the trailer store. What am I talking about? It's definitely the best prices around. 
Uh, trailers are very difficult to get hold of right now. Um, I bought it. I waited for it for a long time before it actually showed up. Uh, I didn't get no real special treatment on delivery time. I'm stoked to have this thing. Oh man, I cannot believe how well it fits in there too. So my little buddy is the same thing underneath. Like, damn, same thing. Except for it's a bumper pull. And uh, same axles, same torsion axles. Uh, it's just got black wheels on this one. But uh, we'll see how well it, this one behaves with the gooseneck. I imagine it, it'll tow freaking awesome. But, yeah, we'll see. So this is going to be the first load of logs I'll haul with the new trailer. Uh, it's technically the third actual load of anything. Did haul a load, another load of con mix. It was about 17,000 pounds. Position it farther back on the dump trailer and it dumped it no problem. So you got to get the placement right. But the whole point of getting that thing at 18 feet long or the dump box is these are 33 feet long logs and it works out perfect. Cut these things in half because this is a preferred length right here. Cut it in half is another preferred length. So basically end up with a 17 foot log and uh, they go right in that trailer. So I'm going to haul a load of this pine with some oak and I might haul two of those today. But we're going to definitely get the one and his yard's getting full up already. Now that the sawmill is closed down, got to be, got to find the niche market for some of these logs, but he's been getting rid of it. I'm going to heap it up with the little trailer, which is four feet shorter. I don't know. It's like two cords, so I don't know what's here. I ain't going to even speculate. We'll see what, we'll what V-Belt says when I drop it off for him. We can throw a couple straps on it. Property and he making a maze. What the heck? <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Well, that was different. Normally, it comes in this way, and it's easier to make when you got a bigger exit to aim for versus uh, funneling down like that. But oh well, feels like a good little load. Tell you what, she better dump. I tell you what, I tell you what, just better dump. Be back, get another load of oak. I might film that, why not? We'll see. Just as I thought, I don't think there's 10,000 pounds in that at all. <laughs> all that dead pine. I'm taking it in third gear. It's holding it back without a problem. So, you know, that's a, uh, towing the prime tech and stuff down that hill. I mean, it's downshift and acting like it's not a big deal. I mean, that's a light load of logs, but I got more volume in there, and that's what we're going for, you know. Get a bigger dump trailer, you lose a lot of payload based on how much the dump box and everything weighs, so that's why it's a super single, prorated, and stuff like that, but anyway, we're about to dump this thing out, so we'll see how she fares dumping her in. Jeez.
let's see if she lifts this one. Oh. If it didn't lift this one, we would have had a serious issue. Is it pull out the logs? What are we going to do that every time? Might as well just bring a flatbed if you have to pull out the logs every time. No. I want to see if it'll lift it. Get it done. Yeah, well, we don't know. I got installed that solar panel earlier, and uh, the battery said it was in the yellow, so that's about what the other one's at the whole time. So. This takes its time. That's a big old cylinder. Look at that cylinder down in there. Coming out? Oh yeah. Just take off. Give her hell. So how much do you think all that weighs? My guess was around 10,000. That's what it felt like towing it down that hill. Um, this, this could be under a thousand, but they're all, the rest of them are a thousand or more, so. So what's your quick math? 12 at least. 12,000? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Probably pushing three cords. Three cords? Figured it was at least three cords there. And that's uh, green is, 15, I certainly prefer towing with the flatbed so you can see the dang trailer back there. These higher sides on this dump bed are, they, yeah, they definitely eat up a lot of your visibility. Made her happen. You gotta shimmy a couple times backing into a spot, whatever, that'll happen. As long as you don't break anything or nobody gets hurt. Buddy, we need to hit 100,000 before the end of 2021. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button for me right now. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm going to end this video here right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the new dump trailer. It's definitely a big difference than the old one. Dump unit is, appears to be a little bit slower. It is a bigger cylinder and everything that's got to fill with that pump and all that. So she dumped this low. She dumped the last one. She did dump the 18,000 pound one with the weight towards the back so we'll see how this thing behaves over a long time loading these logs but that is primarily what i bought it for is hauling these 18 foot logs might have to do a little bit more strategy make sure this thing dumps um i've seen videos of telescoping one have trouble as well so it is what it is you load her heavy there's a lot of leverage with a longer dump box like this but we'll see how she does let me know what you guys think in the comment section below subscribe to the channel we'll see you guys in the next one later on guys Stay safe.